Hi there, Simon from simonwoods.com. Now, uh, it's 2017 as uh, we speak. Well, actually, it's not 2017 as I'm filming, but it's just before Christmas. But if, by the time that you're watching this video, it will be 2017, which will mean we have a new UK city of culture, and the city of culture for 2017 is dot, 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 Hull. You knew that? No, I didn't know that either, but I'm sure there'll be lots of uh, wonderful events going on in Hull. Uh, hopefully, well, we'll see, lubricated by a trio of wines that have been produced uh, by, uh, or well, not produced, but have been uh, made in conjunction with uh, Hull-based um, uh, wine merchant House of Townend is a supplier of the Hull House of Townend is a supplier of Hull UK City of Culture 2017. And for one pound uh, from each bottle of Viticulture, get the name Viticulture, uh, that's, uh, that's it'll, be, it'll be donated to Hull 2017 to support local arts and culture projects after 2017. Look, if you want to know more about it, look at the website hull2017.co.uk. Anyway, um, they're th I've got a tr they've done a th trio of wines. I think they're all French, yeah. Um, and so the first one is white. Um, and it's a bit confusing because it says 2017 on the front, but uh, I'm presuming it's a 2015. Uh, can't actually see a, a vintage on here, but uh, is it from, it's a Sauvignon Blanc from the Cote de Gascoigne. Uh, I will just uh, dig into it and see how it is. It smells gentle, simple. Uh, yeah, it's Sauvignon Blanc from uh, from this part of the the world. We're, we're close to Bordeaux, and it's probably got a little bit more common in common with um, Bordeaux Sauvignons than Loire Sauvignons. Loire Sauvignons are probably a little bit more aromatic, uh, a little bit fresher. Bordeaux ones maybe rounder, slightly softer, and um, if the Loire ones are more on that crisp citrus edge, the Bordeaux-ish Southwest France style tends to be a little bit fatter. I often get uh, pear characters. I get a little bit of that here. What I call fair enough wine, the sort of wine that you'd be very happy to uh, um, uh, swig your way through a glass of and um, if it's raising money for Hull probably fill your glass and have a second. Um, what about the rosé? So the rosé, um, this is a Grenache rosé from the, the paid dock uh, and again I can't see a vintage on here but um, I'm, again I'm presuming it's 2017, uh, sorry 2017, 2015. Anyway let's give this one a whirl. Quite pale, almost orangey in colour. You probably can't tell against a blue jumper. Um, I have to I stick my nose in there. I can't say it, it smells of heaps. Maybe there is a little bit of cranberry in there, but um, it smells like it's going to be reasonable and fresh. Decent, rounded, juicy. Um, sometimes I separate rosés into white wine rosé and red wine rosé. If it's white wine rosé, it wants to be served crisp and very chilled, and the idea is it's a, a seafood-friendly wine. If it's red wine rosé, there's often a little bit of uh, chewiness and tannin in there, and um, uh, yeah, you want to, uh, it's got really pronounced blackcurrant, red berry, that type of flavour. Here, I would say that this were uh, probably hovering more to the wards, the white wine rosé, although there is something there, a little bit of grip that you get on the finish. Um, so I, that's the sort of wine that would slip down just a little bit too easily. Slightly dangerous wine, and uh, hull... I don't know if it's known for danger. I don't know too much about Hull, I'm ashamed to say. Anyway, final wine is a Shiraz, and um, again, no vintage on this one, so let's give this one a whirl. Oh, I forgot to say it's from the pay dock. Anyway, stick my nose in here. This smells the most promising of the trio. Um, it smells to have got quite a lot, nice weight of uh, blackberry plum, a little bit of blackcurrant fruit, some spice in there. It feels like it's uh, uh, yeah, going to be a bit more concentrated than the previous two. Yeah, that dark fruit, a little bit of vanilla. Again, quite on the easy drinking side. It's not, it's not something that you want to uh, decant and show off to your friends. But um, sort of wine, if you're in Hull or thereabouts in in that vicinity, um, you and someone offers you a glass of viticulture, you can say, yeah, I am very happy to have a glass of any of those uh, because I'm raising money for uh, good projects and uh, and uh, the wine won't be half bad either. See you soon.